I want to talk about something that you may not have discovered. You have to be very careful of the women and men that you meet. When you are elevating more in God, doing what God wants you to do and stuff like that, be very careful of the men and women that you meet. You have to understand that everyone is not sent by God. Some people that are sent to you are sent by demons to trap you, to get you back into sin. If you don't understand this, you really need to take heed. For myself, maybe 2% of people are really interested in changing their lives and giving their lives to God. And all the rest, pretty much, are either interested in me and trying to date or some silly stuff like that, or some other things. If I wasn't as determined as I am in serving God, or saying to myself, nothing is going to separate me from God. If I was not that way, I could have easily turned my back on God. From the people that I speak with or spoke to, when my intentions mainly was to minister to them about God. Does that make any sense? Lust is a very huge sin. And if you have looked, I believe I made a, an other video about demons playing the same tricks on almost everyone. And one big one is lust. So if you are a man ministering to people and stuff like that, I'm telling you, a demon can bring a woman, a woman or women toward your way to throw you off track. If you are a woman, demons can send men to you to throw you off track. I'm telling you, it happens. You have to be careful and Man, <laughs> and let's say that you are the type of person like, hey, I want to get married, you know, I can't wait. Man, you are just a huge target. If you are not really looking at that person's personality and you are like, trying to rush into it. There is nothing wrong with getting married or anything like that, but if you are to the point where, hey, I can't wait, you know, just God send a person to me, my way, blah, 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 you are a huge target if you are not careful. Like I said, there is nothing wrong with wanting to get married. Nothing wrong. But, if you are not careful, a demon or demons can send a man your way and wreck your whole life for a guy. If you are that way too, like, man, I can't wait to have kids and a wife, so on and so on, which is good. But if you are not careful, a demon can send a really cute girl your way and wreck your whole life. Or let's say that you have been single. You are a man or a woman and you have been single for quite a while. And a demon sends or demons send a man or woman or woman toward your way and you fall for that person and boom, that person messes up your life. This is not a coincidence. When you are bringing people to God, 
when you are ministering to people, praying for people, doing things of God, it is not a coincidence that bad people are sent your way. People who are not interested in changing, but interested only in you. Now, it is one thing if a person comes to you and they want to change their lives and they are putting forth an effort to change. That is one thing. But people who act like <laughs> they want to change, but they really don't. You have to be careful of that. And be even more careful of people who call themselves Christians. Be careful of people who say that they are a pastor or a deacon or minister or whatever else. Because usually, people who call themselves Christian are usually, not all of them, don't get me wrong, but usually, many of them are bad. Because people don't know what a Christian is. A Christian is a follower of God. So you have to be following the rules, the rules and regulations of God to be a Christian. There are people who sin as much as a sinner, but they are calling themselves a Christian, which makes no sense. So this is why I am telling you to be very careful if a person calls well, be careful of everyone. But if a person, and sometimes what people do, if they hear that a person is a Christian, they let their guard down, which is not good. Be very careful of people who call themselves a Christian. Don't let your guard down. Because people lie. Or... A person may call themselves a Christian because they go to church on Sundays. But Monday through Saturday, they are sinning so much. <laughs> Be careful of me. Yes, you know, I am teaching and doing this and doing that. I have my YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. But be careful of me, because you never know. I could change, or I could really be this bad person making you think that I am this good person, right? So be careful of me. Don't let your guard down for no one, because <laughs> even with Christian people, like, have your guard up even more. Does that make any sense? So, if you are a man, be very careful of everyone, especially women. If you are a woman, be careful of everyone, especially men. Because... When you are out there trying to get people to change and stuff like that, you have to know that demons don't like that. So, they are going to send people your way that is going to try to destroy you. For instance, there, there are just some evil people out there, like myself, back when I was in sin. I used to be... Now... How can I say this? <laughs> now, I was interested in whores and stuff like that, but I was really interested in married women. Even if those women was not my type, if they was married, if I saw a ring on their finger or whatever else, I wanted to get with that woman. Why? Because I wanted... Not so much to break up the marriage, but I was just evil. 
I was just evil. If a woman was married and told me that she was married, I got more interested. So that shows you that I had many demons within me at that time. Same thing with people that know that you are trying to serve God, that you minister to people and stuff like that. Some people out there say, hey, this person is serving God. Let me mess with this person so this person can come back to sin. I'm telling you. There are just some people out there that are just evil. And like I said, I don't know if I said this all already, but only out of all the people that I spoke to or speak to about God and stuff like that, maybe only 2%, let's say <laughs> 5%, not even, are really interested in changing. All the rest just want to mess around or they are interested in me or trying to do something sexual or something like that. I'm telling you, trying to date or trying to date. Crazy, man. You have to be careful. So does this make any sense? Be very careful of people. Everyone is not sent by God. And let me say this. Let's say that you find out that this person is trying to date you and you find out that this person is not really interested in serving God. What can you do? It is your option to continue to speak to that person or to stop. I don't know, it is not a bad thing to stop speaking to a person when you find out that they don't want to change. That is not a bad thing. Like, you would be really surprised about the people that I met, not met, but spoke to. Really, really surprised. And it makes you think, like, why would they want to speak to me when I am all about God, but they, they are like irritated or whatever when I only speak about God? And that makes me think like, I have a YouTube channel where I pretty much only speak about God and stuff like that. And it gets you mad or whatever when I speak to God about or I speak to you about God almost every time I'm like why would you talk to me then <laughs> like you know that I speak about God but you think that when I talk to you I am not going to speak about God so pretty much your intentions is not about God but me that is not going to work. <laughs> I'm telling you, you have to be careful. You have to be careful. People have evil intentions for you. They may think that it is a game. Some people, I'm telling you, and this is how I was too back then when I was dating and sex before marriage and stuff like that, people love the challenge. They know that you are a man or a woman of God and they want the challenge to see if they can have sex with you or not. And they are going to try hard to get with you. I'm telling you, some crazy stuff, some really deep rooted stuff. And you have to be careful of that because if you are not, you are going to fall for that trap and so basic stuff, man. And sometimes demons, I may have said this, but even if they can't have sex with you, they are trying or going to try to get you in lust. 
probably try to get you to have phone sex with them or show you different types of pictures to get you into lust. I'm telling you some deep stuff. Is this making any type of sense? Is it? It really should. Be careful of everyone. I am not saying be paranoid, you know, like <laughs> looking over your shoulder and stuff like that, you know. <laughs> Just be careful. Trust. Be careful because it does not take much to get back right into sin. It does not take much. And let's say that that woman or man, you know, you have sex with that person or start a relationship or whatever. You have to know that it is not going to work. You may be with them for maybe <laughs> six months to a year or three months and then it is going to close down. So the whole point of that guy or woman coming to you was to get you off track. Makes sense, right? You are ministering about God. Boom. Out of nowhere, this woman comes, or boom, out of nowhere, this man comes. Then you fall for that trap, trying to get married or whatever else. Within a year, <laughs> the relationship ends. <laughs> I'm telling you. Does that make any sense? Stop falling for the basic stuff. So let me end it here. God bless.